Hey, I'm going to show you three things in this video. Uh, first is how to set the Internet Explorer browser, how to open it up and set a specific location. First, I go to Tools, References, and make sure you have Microsoft Internet Controls checked off because that lets you use Ready State Complete. So basically, I'm just going to press Play and show you what this book does, which you can get from my website. Now let me switch this to zero and this to zero. So basically what this code does is it creates an Internet Explorer application and then it sets it to visible so that you can see it. You could run Internet Explorer without it being visible. And then with the object that you created, you navigate to Google and it sets it at these locations on the screen and the height is 500 and the width is 1920. And then this do while loop, uh, it has like the dot busy because you're working with the internet browser, uh, internet explorer browser, and then end with is down here. So dot busy or ready state. Uh, as long as the website hasn't loaded, it'll just keep looping. And then once the website loads, then it stops looping and then you're done with the program. So basically this is like a little tripwire that'll tell you if the browser is loading or not. So you could put that there as like a stop point until like you start like clicking on the browser or whatever. So that's the internet browser one. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how to uh, check your screen resolution size. So this is pretty simple. It's a public declare function. You use the PTR save function, which lets you go to my PC. So I'm 64-bit operating system, so this PTR save function makes the user32 DLL procedure. Uh, it makes it work on any operating platform, so it's 32-bit or 64-bit. And then this is the get system metrics function, which you're using, which gets put down here too. It's kind of like mouse event in my last video. Uh, so basically what it does is it returns the, the screen width, X, and then the screen height, Y. So I'm just going to press play. So my screen width is 1920 by 1080. So if you watch my XY coordinates video, you could see where on the screen you are. The higher the number you are to the higher you are to the right, the more you are to the right, the higher the number is. So you could see like set different places to click all over your screen. So that's how you could see your your monitor size. And then this last book, which you could also get from my website is basically just uh, it sets the Excel window in a particular location and tells you all the different uh, stuff about it, where it is. And then it sets the window down here. So if you just need to set your window, Excel window in a specific location for whatever reason, you could do that. 